Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our reflection on the fourth of the Beatitudes. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Now we talked about how hunger and thirsting for righteousness is to hunger and thirst after what is ultimately God's plan for salvation. Because that's precisely what righteousness is. It's God's plan for us, for our salvation, for the salvation of the whole world. And it's the capacity that our relationship with God has to heal us. Heal us from our sins, first and foremost. Heal us from the tendencies we have to fall short, which we've talked about in other videos when we were discussing other of the Beatitudes. And it happens also so that we can be in harmonious communion with our God, because that's what we're called to. We are called to live a life in communion with him, harmonious union with our God who created us, who loves us, who sustains us. This is what it means when we say, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. This is what we talk about when we say the meek shall inherit the earth. All of these things are ways of saying that by living in relationship with God, we find ourselves authentically being, a, being human and also authentically being in relationship with our God, which ultimately we come to find are one and the same. And now Christ bears this salvation for us by his very actions, by coming into the world, by taking on human form, by being what we are in all ways except for sin, and showing us that it's possible for a human being to bear divine presence. And this is what we're all called to. This is what it means to fulfill all righteousness. Now, this reveals a truth about who we are, that we are not authentically ourselves apart from God. We are only ourselves individually and communally in relationship to God. So we have to seek out an authentic expression of ourselves, hunger and thirst for it. Because although salvation is freely given by virtue of the incarnation, the death and resurrection of our Lord, the ascension into heaven and seating at the right hand of the Father, and the sending of the Holy Spirit, all of these are free gifts that we don't have to do anything to earn. It's not our works that do it, it's God's grace. But we have to actualize it. So. Part of what we say when we hunger and thirst for righteousness is we have to hunger and thirst to be authentically ourselves, ourselves in relationship with God. We can't do it otherwise. God's plan for salvation, his righteousness, requires us. Not because God is limited in any way by nature, but because God, out of his great love for us, gives us the freedom to choose, to choose to be in relationship with him and therefore authentically ourselves, or to not be. Free will is not the freedom to do whatever we want. It's the freedom to choose what is good and beautiful and true and loving, and to actualize that in our lives, the totality of our lives, and in doing so, being true being ourselves good by grace because we have inherited by grace those very qualities that we use to describe God because we're in communion with him. And that hunger and thirsting for righteousness is such an important way of explaining it because it shows us that we not only have to do it, but we should want to do it. It should be so innate within our core to want to fulfill righteousness that we hunger and thirst after it. Sometimes even at the expense of the things that we physically hunger and thirst for. 
because it's more important to be ourselves authentically in relationship with God than to have all the other things of the world that we want. Because what good is it to inherit the whole world and to lose our soul? That's why, like, when we were talking in the previous Beatitude, success in this life isn't measured like the success in the world. Success in Christian life is measured by our authentic expression of who we really are. It's measured by the cultivation of the virtues. It's cultivated by our goodness, our gentleness, our self-control, our kindness and love, preeminently love, because these are all signs that we are hungering and thirsting for righteousness. We've inherited the kingdom. We've inherited the earth. We are satisfied. So as we go forward, you might consider thinking about the ways in which perhaps our hunger and thirsts just aren't for God right now. We're more concerned about other things. It doesn't mean that I'm telling you all that you have to stop desiring what you need for subsistence in this life. But what we need more authentically, more fully, is to be in communion with our God. Because if we seek first his righteousness, all other things will be added to us. As we said before, not necessarily the things that we think we need, but those things that we need in actuality. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you. Don't hesitate to reach out at any time. Call us, email us, send us a message on social media, leave a message in the comment section. We're glad to respond. God bless you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.